whatever. I'm like, no, go away. I don't want this right now. But I'll deal with it. But here we go. We're going to be going into our first game here. Cerrone against Vermillion. As we were saying, the Shulk is going against the Cloud. Blonde an anime swordsman right here, man. Now, I have heard Shulk players say this is a perfectly fine matchup for Shulk. I've heard it sucks. I you're going to hear everything. Because one thing is oh. that Shulk does have in this matchup is the fact that his sword is actually longer Clouds. than sh Clouds. Exactly. Like, you outrange the Buster Sword, or in this case, the Fusion Sword, with the Monado. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you get away with that, but you do. That's why you know, Shulk players are always like, man, Shulky's better frame And I'm like, oh, so you want a better Cloud? I mean, why not? I mean, that's literally what Cloud is. He's a better Shulk. Yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, you could say he's a better Shulk, a better Ike, a better Roy. He's a better lot of characters, honestly. I agree. I mean, that, that's why he's top five for a reason. Yeah, right? I mean, that's why a lot of people put him in top oh, two no. as well. All right, Cerrone is struggling to go ahead and land back on the stage, but she does have leftovers on. Going to be able to get a punish. Oh. The forward smash, not quite taking the stock. As everyone knows, whenever you do have the Shield Monado on, the knockback is lessened. Oh, yes, absolutely. That was an a excellent throw. No air dodge in the immediate backer. So going to be able to lift through it, though. All right, let's trap situation. Oh, missing an F tilt. Now, Vermillion, you know, when I first played Vermillion, he uh, really made me think about ledge trapping a lot and stuff. So uh, I always love to see what exactly Ooh. he does, but that, that was, was a great actually, grab. This is actually a mistake from Cerrone going into speed into, instead of shield. So she's going to try to take advantage of it. Up throw, got the air dodge, the up tilt instead, nice. switching over to shield. Perfect stuff. Oh, all right. So she misses the, the drift there. Vermillion decides to go the opposite way and now sends her off stage. But Shulk's not really going to die anytime soon, except maybe to a cross slash. Possibly, but definitely now she it, she's forced to switch out of shield. So for those of you that don't know, whenever you in shield, you do not move horizontally that quickly. So she immediately switched the jump so she can be able to recover. Right, because the shield actually cuts both your aerial and, oh my gosh, your aerial and grounded mobility, whereas speed and jump, uh, respectively, will increase those attributes for, sh for Shulk. So. Uh, but I like the back throw attempt coming off from... The Vermillion forcing Cerrone back off stage, forcing her to recover, but now she is threatening with a lot of these forwarders. A down throw, sending Vermillion right back off stage. No air dodge. Well, finally gets one, but still no punish, though, in the up air. Gonna take that stock. Excellent retaliation by Vermillion. You know, and that, that's a very strong option to get off the ledge as Cloud. And here we oh, is Cerrone going into smash mode. Why not? You know, you're at zero. But the down throw not killing the forward air will finish it off. And this is where both characters, I feel like, can definitely edge guard each other pretty well. But Shulk, especially with that, you know, long, you know, swinging forward air uh, in front of him to really catch uh, if Vermillion recovers wrong. All right, I love the movement from these two right now. Just kind of dancing around each other. Vermillion finally opens her up. No, but I like the answer that Cerrone did have. Immediately hang him with that forward air. But the fact that Cerrone is in the air, it is a struggle for her to go ahead and land back down. But hey, yo, as I'm talking about that, she's making me shut up right now. She's like, Miho, I know, I know that Shulk is not the greatest character, but let me show you what he can do. Yeah, right. I mean, a lot of Shulk players always love to point out how much potential they feel Shulk has. Cerrone wants to show you right now. So she said, let me show you exactly how good my character is. Just because he's not a high tier doesn't mean he isn't viable. So in that last situation, Vermillion ends up doing a cross slash, trying to cover the landing of Cerrone. Cerrone is just wisely jumping away and not giving Vermillion that option. But here, here we go. She is in Buster mode. She wants to try to catch up in percent, but immediately switching over to Shield, trying to uh -oh. use that speed instead. Here uh -oh. we go forward air. Oh, yeah, just jump. On. Oh, no jump now. And the forward air. That's gonna be it. Cerrone taking that game. That was an amazing string by Cerrone. Just held advantage the whole time, and you know that's. Cloud, man, you know, you're without a jump, you're probably dead. And, you know, I was wondering if we would try to see no a limit jump, charge. No jump, no limit. Yup. No, he wasn't in position Brock to go Brock ahead and do limit. I the mean, fact she, that Cerrone she was threatening. Again anyway. Exactly. And then because if, if he tried to charge limit, it stops his momentum, and then he would have been able to make it back anyway. So that was an excellent position by Cerrone, especially good use of the Smash Roll platform. I'm interested to see where Wario? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Wario mains always talk about how much that like he struggles with disjoints, right? So why would you go Wario against the longest sword in the game? Hey, Vermillion knows more than I do about this character. Let's see what he can Where's do. Where's the DK? That's what I want to know. Like, he always talks about how Wario Twitter, how DK said, like, He's is doing dope. it for his doubles partner C4 right now. I guess he's so. doing it for all of South Bay <laughs> and maybe brutal hips as well. <laughs> hey, I don't know.
But, I mean, nonetheless, he's going to give him, he's going to give Cerrone them early whites real quick. Oh, and yes, Cerrone immediately switching over to the Buster and putting on so much damage off of that up tilt. Uh, 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 Vermillion was able to immediately answer back with that down air. Now, Wario's down air is a very good move. Uh, can kill at high percents and combos into the half waft, which is very, very, very deadly. But if Cerrone's in shield at that time, she doesn't care. She'll take that damage and probably still live. Yep. I mean, that's the fact. She's sitting at 53 right now. Has a very sizable lead in the early goings of this match. Switching over to the speed, Monado. I do like this pick. Now she can just run all over Wario. Wario not being the fastest character, but great mix-up right there. Crossing up the shield with that down air, as we were saying before. Yeah, Wario's air mobility is so good. So he's very good at crossing up your shield, you know, and just dancing around it, with, like I said, with that beautiful Ooh. air mobility. Wow. Here we go. Smash Monado, but immediately just switching right off. Doesn't want to stay in it too long, knowing that Wario does hit really hard. Now, the, the interesting thing about this matchup is, you know, let's say Cerrone manages to take this first stock without too much trouble. I could see her trying to jump camp uh, uh, Vermillion Ooh, back The back going to take away that stock. Beautiful catch by Cerrone there. And now she is actually one stock away from knocking Vermillion into losers. You know, and again, I, I, just, I just wonder about this pick from Vermillion, you know, just because of the range factor. I mean, it's not even just the range factor. Like, the way that Vermillion plays, he plays the player. He plays what he feels will probably do the best. So he understood that, yo, Cerrone's playing this long game. She's going to be able to go ahead and out gotcha. me. She's going to play very scarce. So what I want to do is play a character that, you know, does very well in the long goings. I'm going to take advantage uh, of the fact that I get waft, and look at that. Full waft is down there. Only 21% onto Wario. That's basically zero. Mm -hmm. And he's looking for those Nair setups. Now, I wonder how, if Vermillion is good with the footstool combos that Wario can do to, mm. to reset. Probably not. No, you don't I'm, see I'm, it I'm not sure. But, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it from Vermillion. Vermillion is a player that really thrives on his tech to be able to go ahead and get a lot of these conversions. Absolutely. And, you know, if, if we see a falling Nair or a falling up air, that could be Cerrone's stock. I mean, not quite yet. There is not a lot of rage on Vermillion. If he is able to hit a waft now, oh. it's not going to take away this stock yet. Okay. Well, that's good. Right, that's that's good. Oh, you're in kill percent now to a full waft. All right, cool. nice. Rolls past that. That is actually a really good move to ledge trap and also just uh, to get people out of shield. Well, that's exactly what she had to do there. That was her only option. If she was to jump, even a get up attack or anything else, it what would just thought? immediately be eaten up by those pearly whites. Absolutely. Wario, that, that command grab so good. You know, Wario's got some good moves, but I feel like, you know, it's uh, his range and probably overall frame Ooh. data struggles. Right, but here, now that we are at even percents, 93, Cerrone sitting at 79. Full Waft will most likely take away this stock, but as Vermillion misses, this is actually going to be very tough for him now. Especially now Cerrone hops into shield mode, knocks him off the bike. This is going to be really hard for Vermillion to take this stock now without that Waft. Our good forward throw, sending her right back to that ledge. Ooh, unable to go in and convert off of it, though. Well, Cerrone not getting that back air there. Nice, the chomp. Getting her out of shield, sending her up. In the back air, that is such a ferocious move coming out from Schultz. Has so much range and also can kill from the reverse hit if you're not careful. Oh yeah, I've seen plenty of stocks be taken by that. Now look at, you see the the added mobility jump gives Schultz. She can go far off stage and still make it back. No, but again, she's putting on the leftovers, acting like a Snorlax right now. <laughs> making Vermillion know, I know you thick, but I'm just as thick. Real talk. Stockpile? Mm -hmm. You already know. But we ain't <laughs> using Swallow. I don't need it right now. <laughs> wow, the up smash is going to catch, but <laughs> here we go. Now, Cerrone at 128%. She is in danger to a back air or an up smash, but so is Vermillion to really Ooh, a, a back air. Landing down oh. almost casting him, but going for the upper, not the forward air instead. Nice dash attack to punish. Now she's back in shield. He's going. He's looking for that downer, but it won't kill her in shield. No, oh, with the counter. She saw the future taking away that stock. That was an excellent. She knew. She waited. She did not do that an entire And look at this. Set. Trey Vonte and Shaky popping off, collecting their money. Let's go, side bets. Let's go. Trey Vonte said, give me my money, boy. <laughs>